Hello everybody, this is Pastor Sunday Adelijah from Kiev, Ukraine. I'm here uh, about to talk with um, Pastor Isaac Ajibola from England, from London, England, about this book that is dedicated to the memory of Dr. Miles Morrow. Did you know Dr. Miles Morrow at all? Did you get opportunity to hear him? Oh yes, I, it's a privilege and honor to have known this great man of God. I sat I am personally under his administration for nothing less than seven to eight years. Wow. Always traveling from London to the Bahamas. Wow. And uh, it was really a blessing and I found a kind of special connection, right. not only to my heart, but also spiritually. And also along that time, God told me to go and undertake certain projects, which I didn't. But one day under his ministration, he was talking to the crowd, but it was so personal to me that some of you, God told you to do something, and you are still sitting there. What are you waiting for? And that hit me. So when we finished, I was one of those that went to the altar, and he laid his hand on my head, and I felt the presence of God um, energizing me. And from that time, I think immediately after that, I wrote my first book hmm. uh, in 2007. Wow. So uh, you actually, you had the opportunity to interact well with Dr. Mao. Oh, yes. Like I said, that first book I wrote was One on One Reasons Why People Fail Leadership. He was the one that even encouraged me. One of the leadership sem um, conferences we had at Wyla at the Bahamas and gave it to one of the ushers to go announce on the platform. Wow. I, I found him an amazing person, such a great man yet. He was a people's person, um, encourager and also a teacher to the core. And also I must remember to put this in a pastor as well. Mm. And I'll never forget the smiles on his face. Now, what, what, what was it like when you heard about his death? Um, actually, that time, that particular morning, I heard I was in Israel and I couldn't go out with the team. I never knew he had that kind of impression on my heart. And even from the way that I screamed, the individual that phoned from London said to me, Pastor, if I knew you were going to take it this badly, I wouldn't have told you. I said, I would get to know eventually, but it's good the way you told me. So I slept in my um, hotel room all day that day to let you know how I felt a shock and pain. And I never knew um, that he had that impression on my heart. But again, like other people, I was just wondering, God, why now? I thought you tell your people that things are about to happen. So I had so many questions on my mind. Do you think that such a book that attempts to give answers yeah. to, yes. to such... Yeah. Um, uh, this book is over, it's about 190 something pages. I flipped through, I haven't read the entire pages, but exactly I went to page 49 and I found some of the answers. And not only that, comfort to the heart of any individual that might be broken and might have questions regarding their loved ones or probably a teacher, a mentor, a pastor or a friend that they have lost, that they would find out there what happened to Paul, what happened to John the Baptist, and such other ones, to James as well. Where was God when James was beheaded and the same God made way for uh, Peter? So we begin to see that God's prerogative can work either way. But one thing is this, that death is never the end. It's just the end of a new beginning. It's never an ultimate end at all. So. Apart from for you, would this book be a blessing to all the people uh, who... Oh, oh, certainly, no doubt. Not just a, a blessing to individuals, can always be a reference point. It's something like they can always fall back onto and I believe would be recommended to other people. Because um, within that few minutes that I read about James, about Paul, about John the Baptist and God being there, I think there's always God's purpose behind whatever that happened to his saints because he said he would never allow his 
um, um, his saints to see corruption. So I believe he has a plan and certain agenda that we might not be able to influence and to at all. And those who love Dr. Miles, what will you say this book will do to them? Would it be a I would say yes. This book has come to substantiate the fact that there is hope. We can keep on keeping on. The best we can do for him is to keep his memory alive. Mr. Purpose is not death, dead, but that he's given us opportunity to celebrate his um, departure from here. This is healing on its own. Yeah, and you can get his book on Amazon. And um, just go get your copy. It will be a huge blessing to anyone that has ever lost a loved one, a family member, or just somebody that is close to your heart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.